This video was produced by the Clinical Skills Lab, University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover, in collaboration with the University of Bristol. The video describes one correct way of performing the technique. In some cases, there are several acceptable ways to perform the skill. Veterinary students should check with their university whether they have a preferred method. In this video, the horizontal mattress suture is demonstrated. In addition to a needle and suture material, you will need needle holders, forceps and scissors. In this suture pattern, the material runs in a U shape. Using forceps, raise the wound edge. The needle should be held perpendicular to the wound. The needle is positioned and then passed through the subcutaneous tissue, which is shown in yellow, and out of the wound. The suture is continued on the other side of the wound. To create a horizontal mattress suture, the needle is then turned and inserted on the same side of the wound and guided parallel to the first part of the suture. It exits on the other side of the wound. The suture should not be placed too close to the wound edge and it should take even bites of tissue. The suture is then secured with an instrument knot across the open side of the U. With the first throw, the wound edges are opposed. The horizontal mattress suture is used, for example, in the calf-to-seal umbilical surgery or the peritoneum and also in cattle in a mentopexy.